channel. I am so, so excited to do my very first Halloween video of the year for you. I wanted to do a clown makeup because over all these years doing Halloween tutorials, I have never done a clown look. I don't really know why, but I thought I would do something a little bit different. Like instead of doing that sort of typical red and white and blue and yellow, like that really colorful clown makeup, I thought I would do something different. This is going to be my monochromatic black and white artistic clown makeup. Combine this with like a fun colored wig. Like I've just curled my hair, but you could do like a pink wig, you could do a white curly wig, whatever. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, well, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. And you can also check back on my Halloween playlist. I've done a ton of Halloween looks over the years. So if you need some more inspiration please go check out my previous videos. Give this video a thumbs up, that really supports my channel, and I would love to know your comments on what other looks you would like to see this year. So let's get started with this makeup tutorial. So awkward. It always looks like I'm naked in these videos. Rest assured, I'm wearing a tube top. So first I'm gonna start off with some face paint. Now I'm gonna have all the products listed below this video, so click on show more if you want a full list of everything that I used. And I'm gonna first start off with a white cream face paint. You can get this at any sort of Halloween store at this time of year. Um, and I'm going to apply that over my entire face and I also work this down my shoulders But of course it depends like where your costume ends you could maybe just do it across your face or whatever Then I set everything with a matte white powder and I'm just using a big fluffy brush just to set everything I used a lot of powder just because it's a cream base and I don't want it to slide around so the powder helps to set everything into place then I used this little custom eyeshadow quad from Matte Cosmetics and the first color is actually a matte white eyeshadow and I applied that onto my lids just because I want the lids to be super, super white. Next I took a matte gray shade and a very precise brush and I'm going to make a cut crease look and first I used that brush just to kind of outline the shape with the matte gray and then I went in and just kept on darkening it so I kept on going in with darker shades like I went in with a dark gray and then um, went in with a black just to intensify that line and I also used a blending brush with some of that black eyeshadow and just blended it out above the line and and this is actually above my natural crease line so that you can see it uh, when my eyes are open um, and just basically blended, blended, blended so that it's a very smooth gradient from the dark to the light white color underneath my brow. And then to sharpen up that line, I used actually a liquid liner and just did that right along the cut crease and then I actually went in with a black um, coal liner and just applied that just so that it's a very dark black line right on the crease Next I'm doing my brows. I used a black coal pencil and just outlined my brows Now you could cover your brows and you know do different like a totally different shape But I just decided to go with my natural brow shape and just really did a very dramatic black dark brow Then I used a black gel liner and I'm going to be doing that I don't even know what this is called. That design that's like basically right above the eyes. You see this often in clowns or like in jester costumes. They have this demarcation like right above their brow. Now the only thing I wish I did differently is that I, I wish I had moved it a little bit more into the middle of my face. Basically it should align with the center of your pupil. So yeah, that's the only thing I would change. But then I went and did the black color on the lower lid line and just really smoked it out because I wanted the, the lid to be very light and then the lower part I wanted to be really dark and smoky so I used the black eyeshadow for that. And then I went in with the black liquid liner again and I'm doing these streaks just underneath my eye and this is kind of to give that very artistic look. Um, I just went in and painted these sort of curved lines and just did that all around so it kind of almost looks like really long lower lashes that you've just painted on your face. And then I also did some eyeliner on the top lash line because I am going to be wearing false lashes after so this is just going to cover up any of the glue and stuff for the false lashes. 
And of course, I did some mascara. I think I didn't even really apply mascara on the bottom lashes, but I definitely applied it to the top because the top lashes looked very white at this point. <laughs> And then I went in with a white opaque liquid liner and did some detail work on the lower area. So this is kind of to um, give a little bit of a contrast with the black that I applied there and kind of applied that in between the black lines so that you have almost like a white highlight in between the dark lines that you've created. And I also used that white liquid liner to do some detail work around the face. So I did this on those top little triangles above my lid. And then I also did this just underneath my brow, so it kind of looks like the light is reflecting or I don't know. I think it just looks kind of cool just right underneath the brow. And then I did some little extra lines, so it kind of looks very detailed and I don't even know what to call this. It just looks like light reflecting. Kind of a very stylized look. And I also used a black liquid liner and did some dots. So I think this just makes the look uh, a little bit more unique, a little bit more special. And I also added some black dots around the outer part of my eyes. And then for my lips, I used a black liquid lipstick. Now, if you don't have a black lipstick, you could just use a black eyeliner, to be honest. I have done that in the past. Often you can find at this time of year black lipsticks, like even at the drugstore. And now this is slightly off camera. I'm really sorry about that, but basically I did the outer corners of my lips like so they kind of turn upwards. And I did that with a liquid liner, kind of drew in these upward facing triangles like on the top lip. So it kind of looks like a sort of joker mouth or something like that. And now off camera, I have styled my hair. I tried to go for a sort of clown look. I don't know, I just curled my hair really tightly and then teased it and then added this little feather brooch. I don't know, this is like a, a glam clown hairdo. <laughs> and then I also wanted to do that clown nose, but again, in the black color. So I used black eyeliner again for this and then just filled it in. You can see this look is actually really like simple in the amount of products that you use. It's, a lot of just black and white products and like eyeliner and stuff. So I think it's, it's a very cost effective um, makeup look for your costume as well. And then while that was drying, I added some false lashes. Now these lashes, I got at a costume store like years ago, but they have that very doll like look. So I just applied those. Then I of course added some more white um, little details on the nose to give that little reflection and some little dots and stuff. And I also did that on my lips. I think it just adds a little bit of detail. It just makes it look kind of more, I don't know, like more creative. So there's the lips done as well. And then I also did some of these lines um, in that little triangle area above my eyebrows. And that's the final look, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you try this look out, please remember to tag me on social media, like on Instagram and stuff, so I can take a look at your recreations. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell right beside the button, and then turn on all notifications for my channel. That way, you'll be sure to get all my Halloween videos for this year. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! Bye.